paradox of the tablet P322. Just this opinion, that P322 is not the table of integer triangles, P Pythagorean triplets, S, D, H but only factors S, D provided by independent factorizations of squares S2, D2 of sides of a unit triangle, rectangle, key position of the squares S2, D2 in later Friedberg's interpretation means that P322 should be completed just in an opposite way as in the case when it represented a table of triangles. S2, D2 S2 equals S2 H2 S, D2 equals D2 H2 D. S equals square root S2, H S, D equals square root D2, H D S equals S H S, D equals D H D. The way of obtaining the squares S2, D2 is not discussed by him but there is a possibility to calculate them, due to, 7, from reciprocal numbers x, y s, x2 plus y2, for plus or minus one half. Individual members s, d, h s, 1 h s, h d, 1 h d of the factorization are interesting in calculation of square roots of multidigital numbers, s2, d2, which occur when quadratic problems are solved. Multidigital squares are decomposed into less digital multiples with easier computed roots. For example, Square D2 is a 9-digit number, side D has 5 digits, factorization terms D, H, this reduced factorization calls have 3 digits. This old Babylonian problem of multiplication of huge numbers by their decomposition to smaller multipliers has remained until now. Only today's computers with limited registers use fast, more sophisticated algorithms of decomposition, factorized multiples HS, HD are missing in the supposed table, though they would be more interesting for a table owner than the reciprocal pair x, y, which could be easily calculated as a sum or difference of the sides d, s using the relation, 3. Without the multiples h s, h d, the meaning of the reduced cause s, d is doubtful because only a simultaneous knowledge of the multiples and values s, d enables to calculate the sides s, d or their squares s2, d2, notes factorization by squares. Thus the mistake in line 13, the number S2 equals 71201 in column 3 is a result of such factorization. Then, after author of Plimpton 322 may have forgotten to compute the square side of 71201. The correct entry in line 13 of column 2 would be 241, equals square root 71201. There is only a question whether such type of factorization was performed indeed. The discussion of the first error, D2 in 8th row, has shown that it was not. In case of the independent factorization, the discussed data from the second and fifteenth row are already no more errors. There is only a difference in the number of factorization steps. The square S2 in the second row is factorized four times with the overall multiple H2S equals 22122122122, while the square of diagonal D2 is factorized six times with the overall multiple H2D equals 22122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122122
D2 failed to explain why only the value D equals 146 can be computed but not the correct value 53, and found by the second scribe. Of course, it is possible to obtain the value D equals 53, but it will need squares of the Divi SOR4 and his reciprocal 15, used by the second scribe in the second round of factorization of the current numbers 1, 23 13 46 40 times 32 is equal to 12, 29 0 4 and 0. 23 13 46 40 times 32 is equal to 3, 29 0 4. It will need a new trail number 904 equals 544 equals 1634 which contains the search divisor 16 is equal to 42 with its reciprocal 152. Then, after the second round of factorization, the numbers 12, 29 0 4 152 is equal to 46 49 equals D2 and 3. 29-0-4-152 is equal to 13-0-4 equals S2 are obtained. Their square roots give the results D equals 53, S equals 28, HD equals HS equals 3 times 15 is equal to 45, of the second scribe for the line 15. The reproduction of the second scribe results is very artificial and depends on the previous knowledge, in contrast to a very natural procedure of the first scribe. So the independent factorizations of squares S2, D2 cannot explain the error in the line 15 because it will provide only results of the first scribe. The observed equality of the multiples HD equals HS is no surprise. It could be expected even at the independent factorization of squares S2, D2 because the factorized fractional parts of these squares are exactly equal. Inequality of multiples HD, HS occurs in P322 only in two cases, line 2 and 15. Therefore, it is plausible that the inequality of HD, HS is a result of an accidental miscalculation and not of an intentionally independent factorization. There is also an additional argument against the independent factorization of the squares S2, D2, from the wrong D2 in the lines 2 and 8 of P322, also incorrect values of parameters S, D should be expected. However, three of them are correct and also the incorrect value of the fourth parameter, D in the line 2, has already been explained by a forced interruption of calculations and not as an intentional independent factorization. The width S equals 56 and diagonal D equals 53 could appear in the line 15 only when the sides S, D themselves are independently factorized but not the squares S2, D2. Even the factorization of the sides S, D cannot be considered intentionally independent. If it actually was, the author of P322 ought to continue in factorization of the side S equals 105 in the fifth row or of the sides S equals 45, D equals 115 in the line 11 of the P322. Besides the qualitative difference between the triangle and factorization core interpretation of P322, there is also a paradoxical quantitative difference. From one point of view, the factorization enlarges fractional sides S, D, h equals 1 of a unit triangle h times to the integer sides s equals sh, d equals dh, h of a similar triangle. However, the same original sides s equals s1 h, d equals d1 h a reduced 1 h times to the factorization cause s, d. For example, sides s equals 28, d equals 53 are 3 15 equals 45 times larger than the initial sides s equals 0, 37 20 and d equals 1, 10 40. On the other hand, factorization cause S equals 28, D equals 53 are 24 equals 80 times smaller than the original side S equals 37 20 and D equals 1 10 40 expressed in relative numbers. Which of the contradictory statements is correct? A brief mathematical answer to the question is given by the inequality, 10. However, a deeper insight in the paradox is provided by the relation, 2, between sides of a unit triangle D 2 S 2 equals X Y. In the first case, a calculation with absolute values gives the result. D2S2 is equal to 1, 10,402 0, 37,202 is equal to 1, 23 13 46 40 0, 23 13 46 40 is equal to 1, 0, 0. 17. In the second case, a calculation with the relative values gives. 1 10,402 37,202 is equal to 1 23 13 46 40 23 13 46 40 equals 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 18. 
Since the tablet P322 has been obtained from reciprocal pairs X equals PQ and Y equals QP, then their product XY can only have one possible absolute value XY equals 1, 0, 0. Thus, the first interpretation with integer triangles is correct. It does not mean that the second version with the relative values is principally faulty. It only solves another task. Instead of the initial side D equals 1, 10, 40, it starts implicitly with the 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 times larger integer side 1, 10, 40. Subsequently, this too large side is reduced 80 times to the final integer value D equals 53. Taking into account the implicit increase and the subsequent explicit reduction, the correct final 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 80 equals 45 times increase, forecasted by the absolute values, is obtained. In case of the independent factorization of the initial sides S equals 0, 37, 20, D equals 1, 10, 40, the final values S equals 56, D equals 53 in P322 are not the sides of a triangle and therefore they do not obey to relation, 2. In this case, the version with the increase of initial sides by factorization is supported by unambiguous values of reciprocal pairs. Actually, in the round north equals 15, there are generating numbers P equals 9, Q equals 5 and the reciprocal pair X equals PQ equals 1, 48, Y equals QP equals 0, 33, 20. From the pair and the relation, 5, the width S equals, XY, 2 equals 0, 37, 20 less than 1, of a steep unit triangle, is determined. The width S can be written in an ambiguous relative form as 37, 20, but the form cannot change its unambiguous absolute value which must be respected at any factorization. Generating numbers P equals 9, Q equals 5 and the reciprocal pair X equals PQ equals 1, 48, Y equals QP equals 0, 33, 20. From the pair and the relation, 5, the width S equals, XY, 2 equals 0, 37, 20 less than 1, of a steep unit triangle, is determined. The width S can be written in an ambiguous relative form as 3720, but the form cannot change its unambiguous absolute value which must be respected at any factorization. It must be strictly distinguished between the formation of the tablet P322 and its later application. The case covers the whole span between the formation and the application of P322. Analysis of the errors supports the simpler, more natural version, suitable for construction of P322 as a table of ordered roots and squares S, D, D2, S2, using the extended table of reciprocals. As it will be shown later, this simpler construction of P322 would last around a month. The latter version, 9, would be much more time-consuming as its supposed calculation of roots S, D of some apparently random squares S2, D2 which was beyond the common scribe skill. It would be a great luxury to perform calculations lasting for several months, without permanent registration of the crucial parameters S2, D2, just for a list of 39 numerical exercises. For this purpose, the standard table of reciprocals would be absolutely sufficient. The majority of arguments shows that the author of P322 used parallel factorization of sides S, D with the same multiples HS equals HD equals H which together with the factorization terms S. D represents sides of an integer triangle, rectangle. It is undeniable that original sides S, D, H equals one other sides of a unit right angle triangle. It is indicated by their name SAG, Silpitum, US in P322 or MS3052. And proportional multiples of these sides S, D, H represent sides of a similar triangle, regardless of considering them triangles or not. Although P322 gives only two sides S, D, the author of the tablet had known also the third side H, by factorization, all three sides were determined simultaneously. In addition, the side H should be displayed in the lost part of the tablet. Spatial and temporal requirements. For a complete tablet P322. Dimensions of a clay tablet containing the parameters of triangles S, D, H, D2, S, D can be determined in a similar manner as the DI mention of the tablet with parameters from the average width 6 mm of a sexagesimal digit, the height 5 mm of a row and the height 15 mm of headings. Individual parameters are expressed by the following number of digits, S, 4, D, 5, H, 2, D2, 9, S, 3, D, 3, N, 3. 
adding yet eight blank one-digit spaces between columns and at the edges of tablet, the width of the complete tablet should be less than 37.6 mm equals 222 mm, the width of the missing and remnant part should take up 15.6 mm equals 90 mm and 22.6 mm equals 132 mm, respectively. A heading equivalent to 3 rows and 39 rows of triangles written on the obverse and reverse side would need a tablet less than 42 5 halves mm equals 105 mm high. The left and right side of the tablet might be hypothetically utilized for a record of generating integers p, q with Akkadian headings ijibu, equals numerator, and igu, equals denominator, 15, respectively. Numbering of rows n on the obverse, reverse and flank sides would be shared. The two-place numerator, one-place denominator and two blank spaces suppose less than 5-6 mm equals 30 mm of thickness, similar to that of P322. Complete tablet, with a horizontal writing of text, could have a shape of a clay brick less than 222 mm 105 mm 30 mm initial dimensions should be larger, as the wet clay volume shrinks 7-14% to by drying, 16. Similar dimensions, 223932 in millimeter, has also a completely filled vertical tablet MS3052, as it follows from its photo. The reverse side is oval, just like P322, but not quite symmetrical. The oval shape is no problem for a vertical tablet with a dominating verbal text. For long horizontal rows with a numerical text, however, a planar shape of all sides is preferable. Also on the unfinished P322, the mathematical text is on its straight not oval side. A finished table with a full text should therefore have a shape of a thin rectangular parallelepiped.